In this tutorial, we'll look at how to add a drop-down menu to your Bootstrap nav bar. Okay, so I have a simple nav bar here. Um, I actually just copied this from the documentation, so you can go to the docs and make sure you get the right version, 5.2, and you can copy their basic example, and I've just modified it a little bit. So now let's say that we want to add a drop-down menu. So what I would do, I would not try to code it from scratch, right? So especially these bigger components like navbar, there are too many classes. And also with dropdown, there's quite a few classes. So you're not going to remember all of them. It's better to just go to the documentation and um, just copy from their examples and then modify it to get exactly what you want, right? So here we see a navbar example with a dropdown menu. So I would go in here and I would look for that part. So here I can already see something with a uh, dropdown. Right, so we can see here drop down. So I would copy this. I would add that here to get my um, drop down. So let's make the first um, item, right? Because these nav bars are are uh, they consist of na nav items, right? So this is also a nav item, but this particular one is going to be the drop down. So if I save here, we now have a drop down right from their example be careful by the way if you google bootstrap docs you're going to get a few different links so some of them link to older versions right so the best way the best thing to do is simply to go to the website getbootstrap.com which will always show you the latest uh, version and then you, you also get the latest um, well cdn links to include bootstrap and then also the latest components and how all of it is structured in the html and which classes to use and so on right so uh, this is a simple quick way to to add the drop down now, if you want to customize this, you do, you know, sometimes you need to add a little bit of custom CSS. So it's very important that you have mastered CSS itself before you start working with Bootstrap. So I highly recommend that you check out my professional CSS course if you want to take your CSS to an advanced professional level. The link is in the description. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.